Arts and cultural opportunities are what make the Low Country special for so many who come here as visitors and for many who move here to stay. But the arts cost money and need the best possible homes. And who should bear the burden of financially supporting the arts on our island? Jane Joseph is the chairman of the Hilton Head Arts and Cultural Strategic Planning Committee that's working to try to answer that critical question. Welcome in, Jane. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Bob. This group has been together for how long now? Well, it's been about six months. Okay, and what have you been studying? Well, um, we were put together uh, by the uh, town council mm -hmm. uh, after they had a meeting in December of 2014 uh, to uh, ask us to make recommendations as to how the town could best support making Hilton Head Island an arts and cultural destination. How about that? Uh, do, do you get a sense that the town council wants to see recommendations on actually making that happen? That they are that they're supportive at least uh, initially. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we just uh, presented our recommendations at a workshop, mm -hmm. and they were very very supportive of what we're trying to do. Talk a little more about those recommendations. Well, um, we uh, went through a long process of reviewing all of the consultants' reports. Uh, that had previously been done, mm -hmm. as well as comprehensive plans. We talked to many uh, uh, people on the island who live here, residents, as well as all of the arts and cultural organizations, both private um, corporations mm -hmm. as well as uh, as nonprofits. Right. Uh, we talked to a lot of other towns and came up with a set of recommendations that include um, in, uh, putting together a new organization called the Hilton Head Island Cultural and Arts Network, okay. which would be a nonprofit uh, to advance art and culture in the community. Great. What's next in the process now? Well, um, we are we are finishing our final report right mm -hmm. now, uh, which is a written report, mm -hmm. and we'll present that probably sometime in uh, January okay. to the town council. Great. In the end, you've kind of got to answer the question to those who are not directly supporting the arts, who live here, why they should. How do you answer that question? Well, um, I think that it's the arts and culture are very important for two reasons. Number one is economic impact. Uh, there is um, ample evidence that when you have uh, art and culture in a, in a community that it improves the a whole economic picture of the community. Right now, the arts in Hilton Head are contributing over $13 million of household income as well as over $890,000 to the local tax revenues. So that's very important. And, and also, um, it brings in tourists mm -hmm. and uh, improves the quality of life for the people who live here. Um, it will make people want to move here or make businesses want to come here. So it's not for the, for the arts community, it's for the community. All right, that a very interesting uh, thought process and, and making it a dollars and cents proposal as much as a, a great artistic proposal. Jane, thanks so much for your time. I think this might be the most important discussion of the coming year on the island, and I look forward to having you back and talking more about it. Sometime. Thank you very much for having me. Jane Joseph of the Hilton Head Island Arts and Cultural Strategic Planning Committee.